Okay, so this is the Leica Flex SL camera. So I picked up this camera from eBay for $150. Uh, this camera, if it was in perfect condition, would be worth around $300. The, the one problem with it is the battery contact is missing its positive terminal. So this video is going to be uh, me attempting to fix this battery contact. So here I'm just unscrewing uh, the cap and you can see inside the camera there is a little area that should have a positive terminal but there's nothing there. So my thought process was to uh, try to unscrew the bottom cover and see if I could remove the battery holder and put a new contact in place. Uh, the bottom panel is held in place by these uh, tiny screws on either side. Between the screw and the plate, there's actually this uh, small stainless steel collet. It's a pretty smart design and it helps distribute the load of these uh, super tiny screws onto this really thin plate. Here you can see me pulling them out. So once I got these two screws out, I realized there's actually a third screw hidden underneath the tripod mount. This is a left hand thread, so be careful not to uh, go too, too crazy on it. So here, it's actually made out of aluminum, so my bit got stuck there. Uh, you can see all the gears inside, it's pretty cool. Very small, a lot of parts. Uh, here I'm just going through the, the shutter. Pretty neat. And uh, yeah, there's the uh, part that I need to replace. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to unscrew that guy. Uh, the screws seem to be pretty small, but I do have my iFixit kit, so it's not that much of a problem. So once I got the holder loose, I just revved up the soldering iron and I began uh, desoldering the wires connecting to the holder. There was still a little piece of the positive terminal left in the uh, plastic portion of the holder. So I went back with a soldering iron and tried to melt it out. I found the best way of doing this was just to walk the, the metal contact back and forth until it kind of fell out. So now that the holder is removed, I actually spent a little bit of time thinking about how I'd be able to get this positive terminal uh, back into this without ruining the camera. I was able to go on DigiKey, which is electronics part supplier, and uh, find these PCB positive terminal coin cell contacts. Uh, what I did was I cut a little hole in the bottom of the plastic. It was very brittle, so I just went at it with an X-Acto knife. And uh, yeah, these, these positive contacts are, are, were pretty much perfect. Uh, they're nickel plated and they're usually soldered onto uh, circuit boards. So I pretty much took one and bent it into the right shape and uh, it fit perfectly into the little square. So it looks pretty good there. You can see it kind of looks like uh, it was made to be. So here I'm just tinning the positive terminal so it'll be a little bit easier to uh, solder the wires to the battery holder. Uh, nothing fancy here, just kind of put the wires in and got them all uh, soldered back up. And yeah, so once it was uh, all put together, I threw the battery in and uh, lo and behold, everything was working perfectly. You can see the little uh, light sensor on the side here. I was just pressing the battery tester on the side of the camera. So now that it's all functioning, I'm actually going to use a little bit of super glue and just make sure that positive terminal isn't going to move on me. This is also uh, pretty useful so that the positive terminal, if it is a little bit longer than the old one, won't accidentally short out to the body, which I assume is uh, grounded. Um, yeah, so I'm just putting a nice coating around the entire terminal, I'm not using too much uh, super glue. I'm actually going to go and place them on the inside as well, just to make sure that uh, it really isn't going to move on me. So I let that dry and then it's just time to reassemble the, uh, the camera. Uh, I positioned the terminal back into the correct position and I began to uh, put the screws back in. So when I was screwing it in, I went back and just made sure all the wires were uh, sitting properly. Nothing was being pinched, nothing broke off. And so here I actually went to install the, the bottom panel. So here I'm just trying to get the bottom panel to fit back, uh, back on. What I realized was the battery holder actually needed to be shifted just a little bit to get the panel gap to line up perfectly. 
Here I'm just playing with the position of the battery holder so I can get the bottom panel sitting perfectly. Once it looked pretty good, I, I tightened up the battery holder completely and began tightening the bottom cover. I did one last check to make sure everything was functioning so the light sensor was all good before I uh, wanted to screw it all back together. I took a look through the, the viewfinder and there was no problem, so I began putting the, the remaining two screws into the body. Altogether, it wasn't that bad of a repair. I mean, 50 cents for a positive terminal, and now this camera is working perfectly. Hopefully you found this video mildly entertaining, if not a little bit useful if you're looking to repair a similar camera. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching.